come on, children, and gather round. I've got a lot to tell, because the clouds are rumbling. Don't think the world is tumbling to stop that worry and lose that frown. You'll soon be feeling well. A little home philosophy is bound to chase that spell. So change all of your gray skies, turn them into gay skies, and keep sweeping the cobwebs off of the moon. Now what good is your pining? Find your silver lining and keep sweeping the cobwebs off of the moon. You'll make the clouds hurry away, singing a little love song. Some, some lucky day, somebody may come along. So chase all of your sorrow, look out for tomorrow, and keep sweeping the cobwebs off the moon. Now when baby dolls con you, and starting to john you just keep sweeping the cobwebs off of the moon hug them kiss them receive them feed them love them and leave them and keep sweeping the cobwebs off of the moon they'll make your dough vanish away just like a flash in a storm cause it's mr e pluribus unum <laughs> that keeps those babies warm and don't multiply losses and don't follow the horses or you'll keep sweeping the cobwebs off the moon. Oh, did you ever hear the story about the Scotchman that wouldn't go to school because they had to pay attention? I don't know. I shouldn't talk about Scotchman, though. No, but I did see a Scotchman go in a garage where they got free air. <laughs> they blew out four tires. No, but ladies and gentlemen, not to change the subject, I got the dumbest girl you ever saw in your life. Look, and she don't know nothing. In fact, I don't even think she suspects anything. Now, she's one of those kind of girls, when they take to the movies, she wants to look at the picture. And last night, I took her to the movies, and right in the most interesting part, she said, honey, somebody's fooling with my knee. I said, <laughs> that's me, and I ain't fooling. So, of course, any girl is liable to be dumb, but... <laughs> She abuses the privilege. And you ought to see, her, bro her brother is dumber than she is. Oh, he ought to be twins. He's too dumb for one man. Now, her brother is a bachelor. You know, a bachelor is a fellow that has no children to speak of. Well, last night, last night, he took his girl out for an automobile ride, and he made her walk back. And the funny thing, after she started to walk back, he couldn't get the car started. He had to walk back with her. Over this morning, he was coming down the street and he was holding his neck like that. I said, what's the matter with you? He said, I gotta go to the dentist, have a tooth pulled out. I said, what's that gotta do with your neck? He said, it's my girl's tooth. No, but I took my girl to the same dentist, but he wouldn't give her no gas. He said, she's so dumb looking, he couldn't tell when she's unconscious. Oh, but she was gonna have a birthday party. I didn't know what to get her for a birthday present. I was gonna get her a handkerchief. But she's got a handkerchief. Last year, I got her a wristwatch, but she wouldn't wear it. She said it hurt her nose. Over this morning, I was coming down here, and I saw the funniest thing. I was coming down the street, and there was a big black cat come running out of an alley, and it run between my legs, jumped over a fence, up on the windowsill, back over the fence, and run down another alley. And I looked at this thing, and I went down about a half block funny, come running out of another alley, jumped over another fence, up on the windowsill, back over the fence, and run down another alley. And I went out by the half a block, but he did the same thing. And I met a friend of mine. I said, you see that crazy cat? He said, what kind of looking cat was it? I said, big old black cat had white legs. He said, oh, that's my cat. I said, now, is he going crazy? I said, no, I'll take him to the hospital this afternoon. He's around canceling engagements. Better thing, huh? <laughs> no, this song entitled, if bricklayers can lay bricks, why can't plumbers lay plums? Then 
lovely Joe, a boy I know who has good taste for gals, was speaking of his lady love and raving to his pals. He says her name's Magnolia and she'll ruin any man. Now, of course, I can't describe her, but I'll do the very best I can. Now, I'll take some honey from the bee, mix it up with TNT, and what do you got? Magnolia. Now, Clara Bow, ain't she delish? We'll season her with Lillian Gish. And what do you got? <laughs> Magnolia. Say, listen, pal, describing this gal is trying. Cause when I'm done, it's 20 to 1, you'll say I'm lying. But take Cleopatra and Camille, add just about that much more sex appeal. Mix the lot, and what do you got? Magnolia. Then take some fragrance from the rose, dress it all up in slapper clothes, and what do you got? Huh? Magnolia. Now picture teeth, just as white as pearls, and add some gorgeous golden curls, and what do you got? <laughs> Nobody but Magnolia. The boys all sigh when she passes by Cause she thrills them Now her silk hose are cheap I suppose But how she fills them Takes Sheba's smile, Salome's lips Pickford's eyes, Sophie Tucker's hips Mix the lot and what do you got? Magnolia Magnolia 